Hello everybody, I hope you're keeping well. Uh, you had a good weekend last weekend and something good to look forward to this coming weekend. I can't believe it's nearly the end of June. Isn't that just amazing? Uh, into July, summer holidays ahead. Well, if we actually get holiday, but you know what I mean. Anyway, it's really great to be with you today. Now, what I wanted to do today is to talk about two really, really important people. And um, well, to help to do that, in fact. Oh, by the way, in case you're wondering where I am, this is what's called the choir, and it's in Manchester Cathedral. And uh, this is where the choir singers uh, sit and, and sing uh, for the Sunday services. So there we go. This is a very uh, lovely and very old uh, part of Manchester Cathedral. I do hope one day you get a chance to go there. But anyway, we're not here to talk about Manchester Cathedral. Instead, uh, we're here to talk about a couple of people uh, that you might like to uh, learn a little bit about. And here they are. Oh, there we are. I've popped into a little box. <laughs> and you can see instead St. Peter and St. Paul. Now, I want to tell you about these people because these are very important for the early days of the Christian family. Now, the person on the left is St. Peter, and he was a fisherman, and he was called by Jesus to uh, follow him. He said, follow me, says Jesus, and I'll be helping you to catch people, not fish. And Peter and his brother Andrew, they left everything that they had, and off they went, and they followed Jesus. And they had all kinds of different adventures. And of course, he had some good times. They had some sad times as well when Jesus died. But they were overjoyed because they also were among the first to know that Jesus was alive. Anyway, the person on the right is called Paul. Now, Paul was originally called Saul. And Saul wasn't very nice. He wasn't a fisherman like Peter was. In fact, he'd been a scholar and a student, and he learned everything there was to be about being uh, a good uh, religious person. In fact, he was going to be probably a religious leader himself. And he didn't like these Christians at all. He wanted to get rid of them. And he would go around and do everything that he could to get these Christians thrown into prison or to have them in trouble in some way. And one day, while Saul is on a journey going to a big city called Damascus, suddenly there's this flash of lightning and Saul falls off of his horse and he hears some words and the words are Saul, Saul, why are you persecuting me? And he couldn't see anybody and he said, Who are you? And the voice came back saying, I'm Jesus. Why are you persecuting me? Why are you giving my followers such a hard time? And from that moment on, Saul knew that his life had to change. And he, he went into the city of Damascus, and there he was visited by a Christian. And the Christian prayed with him and baptized him. And from that moment on, Saul, who'd been giving the Christians such a hard time, was Paul, the person who wanted to tell everybody that he had met Jesus and that the love of Jesus was for absolutely everyone. Now, these two people are so important because their hard work in the years after Jesus had gone back to heaven helped the Christian family to grow stronger and bigger and to really make its mark on the world. And in fact, that mark is still being made today, not by Peter and Paul, but by people like you and like me who are trying to live as Jesus wants us to do. And as people who go out and try to share the love of God with everybody that we meet. You know, we are, if you like, the successors 
of Peter and Paul because we're following in their footsteps and trying to be friends of Jesus. So today we thank God for them. And we pray that God will raise up people in our day to be just like them. People who are willing to share God's love and about what it means to walk with our friend Jesus every day. So you have a fantastic week and I will see you soon. And before we go, we're going to pray together. So Father God, we thank you for the lives of Peter and Paul, who you have given to us, for all of their hard work in spreading your message of love and peace. And we pray that in our day, that we might follow in their footsteps, so that we too can share in the good news that's in our hearts. Amen. So may the love of God May the peace of Jesus be with you today and always. Have a good week. God bless you. And I will see you all soon. Bye for now.